and gentlemen, welcome to Renee Boxing, a platform where we simply discuss, critique, and analyze, simply talk about sport of boxing in a level-headed, mature, coherent fashion. Subscribers since day one, recent subscribers, I appreciate each and every one of you. I always like to take my time out in these introductions, man, definitely to appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying? If you're new to the platform, you know, if you love the sport of boxing, this is a place for you. Cordial invites, so go ahead and like it up, subscribe it up, you know what I'm saying? Share it up, and let's keep spreading this, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Um, we're doing new things here, man. We don't war with other platforms. We don't do all that drama stuff, man. We just chop up the sport, you know, how we see it, you know what I'm saying, in a level-headed fashion. So I want to talk about this, man, um, you know, the middleweight division, and I want to focus, you know, in this video on Austin Williams, man, Ammo Williams. You know, he's commonly known as Ammo Williams, okay, middleweight uh, contender, moving up the rankings, man. You know, his fight against Felix Cash for the WBA title eliminator so he's gonna have a title shot soon okay i'm excited about this i am i mean people people out there really haven't focused much on ammo williams and i understand why now first and foremost man we've got to understand this that i said this in one of my recent videos i just don't remember which one it was man you know the content i push it's, it's quite constant um you know not 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 too extreme but it's quite constant and sometimes i just forget you know where i post what and what i say sometimes but you know i don't remember everything but i do remember talking about the you know middleweight division and saying it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of disappointing man it is and you're gonna see why and i think you know why you know what i'm saying because what we have been seeing in the 168 you know division middleweight division when it comes to you know freaking these top champs fighting one another um you know unifying there is a lot of potential to become you know a fighter out there in the middleweight division i'm not gonna even name who okay because you know, it's sad. It's just sad. But anyways, there's a lot of potential for a fighter out there in the middleweight division to become undisputed, man. They, you know, but it's not happening. And, and you know what I'm saying? I mean, the only one who's unified, if I'm not mistaken, is Gennady Golovkin, man. You know, Triple G. So, you know, big ups to that. I respect it, you know. But, you know, the way he got that unification was against a very easy opponent. Okay, so, I mean, that's why. I know it's debatable, but in my humble opinion, man, 160-pound division can be a lot more interesting than what it has been for a long time. I'll just put it that way. It can be a lot more interesting if these guys really would come and unify. You know what I'm saying? It would make the, the, the middleweight division a lot more interesting. However, I've been seeing Austin Ammo Williams come up. Now, if you check out my channel, man... I like his backstory, seriously, man, because, you know, check out the channel. Like I said, those who have been rocking with me, they'll know, they'll see it. Because this is the thing about Austin Williams. I want to talk about this first point concerning him and this, you know, thing that's going on in the, well, you know, middleweight division. Austin Williams, man, you know, you know when fighters have been talking about as of late, a couple years ago or what have you, and it seems like Ryan Garcia made it kind of big, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, right? You can you can check the track record when it comes to this this topic that I'm going to bring up at least. When Ryan Garcia pulled out of the fight of whoever who was going to fight, man, um, you know you you know what I'm talking about, and he he claimed it was mental mental health, okay? It seemed to explode this topic of mental health at least in these recent years of the sport of boxing, okay? Like I said, you check it out, find the track record, and it's it's most likely because of that, because of Ryan Garcia, because obviously his following and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Or around that time at least, okay? Why am I mentioning this? Because Ammo Williams, man. I mean, and, and this was hush hush. No one really talked about it, but I did. I did. You know, I'm telling you. Like, you know, each platform has their approach and their unique angles when it comes to sport of boxing. This platform in particular is unique on this. That I talked about Austin Allo Ammo Williams a long time ago. Check out the channel. Look at the thumbnails, and you'll see it. He had he he talked about it too, and I personally think this man that. Austin Al Ammo Williams, and this is why I'm bringing it up, because the backstory, you know, Austin Al Ammo Williams' backstory is very, you know, motivating. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I have my eye on him, and of course, what he brings into the ring, man. You know, I, I like his skill set, I like what he does in the ring, man. When he smells blood, he goes for it. Um, and he looks like a very promising, he looks like a promising uh, middleweight, you know, contender who I think soon will be a champ, man. I think so. I think he will be a champ soon. You know what I'm saying? But getting back to that, that Ammo Williams, man, he struggled with mental issues. If you check the chant, please check out that video. I'll probably leave it if I find it, man. It's there. It's in, it's in the channel. I'll probably leave that video at the end of this one so you can just click on it right after it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ammo Williams did have problems, man. He had some mental issues he was struggling with, man. And you ch please check out the video. I broke it down, man. Seriously. Check out my video on that, on Ammo Williams with, with mental issues, man. And, he, and it, I broke it down. Definitely. And you'll see, man. You'll seriously see psychological stuff right there, man. Some psychological stuff, man. And um, 
it's cool because, and like I said, there hasn't been much coverage, and I think it's sad, but it is what it is, right? There hasn't been much coverage concerning this with Ammo Williams and his background, man. You know, he said it on several interviews out there, you know what I'm saying? And he would talk about how he overcame it, and it looked quite serious, man. He was having some problems. He was having some problems, man, you know what I'm saying? And, and that looked quite authentic and genuine, what he was going through, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave that video at the end of this one. I repeat it one more time. Please check it, okay? You're going to see what I'm talking about. But that's awesome. That's what I'm saying here, man. This, it, Despite, watch this, and this is what intrigues me more about Ammo Williams, man. Despite those issues he's been going through at that time that he went through, he was getting in that ring and he was, you know, performing wonderfully, man. You know what I'm saying? Now that he has overcome it, he has a new focus, and he's going for the top, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely intrigued in this, man. Definitely. You know, this 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 fight between Emma Williams and, you know, Felix Cash, by the time you watch this video, there's a winner already, okay? Because sometimes I push these videos, man, like one day before they fight or what have you, right? So he's going to fight, man, in this whole, um, you know, Chocolatito Estrada card, okay? If I'm not mistaken, at least, right? Uh, in the zone, right? Under the zone. So watch this man i want to show you this you know check out the rankings boxingscene.com man link in the description you already know man but like i said man i've said it several times when it comes to you know some of these rankings out there these pages boxing scene you know that sometimes i don't have them updated but whatever this is to give you a general rough idea okay on on the division of what's going on now so we got here you know jamal charlo obviously wbc champ wa champ right and unified champ ibf champ is uh gennady golovkin triple g janibek right he's the wbo champ obviously now you know this is this is a trip and this is where i think ammo williams is going to take advantage personally he should he should if he gets through felix cashman which i think he will okay um he's gonna have the title shot for the wba right here you see what I'm saying? He's going to have that title shot for Triple G. Now, you got Lada there. Now, Lada, man, real quick, man, I got to stop. I got I to gotta hide that just for a second, man. Lada, I've sp I've given my two cents on, on Lada. I've spoken my two cents on him. And, uh, you know, this whole fight that he fought against, you know, Cornflake or whatever that dude's name is, right? Um, I think this dude's name is Cornflake, man. He got that regular title. You know what I think and feel about regular titles, okay? I've spoken my mind some time ago concerning Lada and his performance against Jarrett Hurd. I think, um, you know, he's he's been over the hill. Lada has been over the hill. Yeah, he has skills. I know the story, but he's been over the hill, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on with Lada. I don't know if he's going to retire soon, but, you know, he, he's, 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 he's towards the end. He's definitely towards the end, you know what I'm saying? And then we go back to here. And then we go back to the WBO, right? You got Janibek Champ. He just defended it, his first title defense against... You know, that British guy, I forgot his name, sorry, but his performance, you know, there were some complaints out there. It wasn't the best out there because people were saying that Janet Beck's a boogie band, boogeyman. Ah, I just pushed the video about, um, you know, the heavyweight Big Baby Anderson and talking about how top rank, you know, they, they, they do very well in promoting the, the prospects, contenders, and eventual champs. Seems like a lot of people out there are saying that Janet Beck's one of those guys. A lot of hype around him, but hey, I respect what Janet Beck's doing, okay? I definitely do. Why do you think... Why do you think, and this is factual, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Demetrius Andrade moved up to one, eight, uh, one, one freaking 68. He didn't want that Janibek smoke. It is what it is. Let's just, let's just not, you know, high, beat around the bush here. Let's just say, say what it is. He didn't want to fight Janibek, man. You know what I'm saying? When Demetrius Andrade was the champ, WBO champ, Janibek was the number one contender, you know, WBO BO ordered it or what have you, and then... Demetrius Andrade comes running, goes running up to 168. And then, this is just coming out. What did Jaime Munguia do? Come on now, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? Enough, enough with this stuff that's going on at 160. And this is one of the reasons why I'm talking about this when I started the video. That 160 right now, it's it's kind of a sad, it's a sad situation that we're seeing. Jermall Charlo, you know, him, you know, all of a sudden in one of those these fights recently, whatever event it was, whatever fight it was. You know, it went viral, I guess. Him calling out uh, Bivol, whatever. But, you know, these guys, Charlo, man, you know, he's not unifying. You know, we saw what Demetrius Andre did. Freaking Mungia declines fighting against Janibek. When this was Mungia's freaking opportunity, 
I told you, man. I've been saying this for a minute. I'm telling you. The way, and a lot of people know this. A lot of people know this already, generally speaking, when it comes to the boxing community. That Golden Boy stuff, man. Some some people call it out there the Golden Boy Protection Program or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but you can see what's going on, man. It, it, it's been time. I've been saying this for a minute in my videos when it comes to Jaime Munguia, man. You know, facts are facts. It's been time. You know, some people out there on social media say, it's time that he fought a champ now. It's been freaking time. I respond in those posts and say, it's been time for years, man. You know, this opportunity comes up with Jaime Munguia. What does he do? His team declines fighting against Janibek to go for that title shot. Now, let me go back to Ammo Williams. This is what I personally think, ladies and gentlemen. I think Ammo Williams, he is hungry. And I think he's going to go for these top champs. You know what I'm saying? Because face it or not, whether we like him or, or not, whatever... Charlo's the champ right now in WBC. He's a WBC champ at 160. Gennady Golovkin, we just saw that. Unified champ there. You know what I'm saying? Janibek, he's the champ also. So they're the champs right now. They're the top. And I personally think this is a wonderful opportunity with this Felix Cash fight that Ammo Williams has, man. You know what I'm saying? Or had, depending on the times that you see this video, right? After the fight, I got, I got Ammo Williams winning. Now, the thing about this is that Ammo Williams, man, I think it was his last fight or his last couple, the, the fight before the last one, you know, I suck at names, but I think it was around that time. One of his recent fights. I'll just put it that way. Emma Williams was having a hard time, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, what fighter doesn't have a hard time sometimes? You know what I'm saying? So, why am I saying this? Is because I think that Emma Williams... I think Emma Williams has the goods. I love how he goes to the body. You know what I'm saying? He kind of reminds me to a certain degree as, you know, Spence style. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like Spence. You know what I'm saying? Of course, not him. Every fighter has their own style, but... You know, he's growing, man. Ammo Williams is growing. As I said, when he when he smells blood, he's one of those fighters that goes for the kill. You know, highly skilled. You know, he he knows when to attack. He knows when to refrain. He goes to the body wonderfully. You know what I'm saying? Power puncher. I mean, I'm not saying he's a knockout artist or anything, but he has power in his punches. He can break his opponents down. I personally think he's going to beat Felix Cash. You know what I'm saying? Stylistically speaking, Felix Cash is kind of tall. He might have that reach advantage. The thing about Ammo Williams, what I like about him, he's one of those, man, if he smells that blood, once again, he's going to go for the kill, man. He's going to go for the kill. He's very hungry. His backstory, he has it all, man, to be a champ at 160. And if he get now this is the question that I have, and this is why I mentioned a moment ago. The way these champs are moving, man, at 160, um, will they accept an Ammo Williams fight? That's the question here, ladies and gentlemen. Golovkin's at the end. Okay, I know people want to hype him up and say that like he's still unstoppable and stuff like that, but no, I, I've been saying this for a long a while, man. Come on, ever since the ever since the first freaking Canelo Triple G fight. After that fight, I've been saying, man, I said you want know Canelo's gonna be win the rematch, okay? And then when he won the rematch, yeah, I know you guys want to debate it. People out there want to debate it. No, Triple G really won, but Canelo, I think he, per I personally think he won, okay? But anyways, officially he won. So what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and after what am i trying to say here and after the freaking rematch when people tried to hype up the trilogy for so long you know after the rematch we were saying, oh my gosh you know triple g canelo trilogy it's going to be amazing you know they were saying it for freaking years plural the trilogy rolls around ever since the canelo and triple g rematch the second fight shortly after i started pushing videos you know addressing all this hype about a trilogy fight and i said you know what triple g you know he's gonna lose he's gonna lose in, in the trilogy He's going to lose convincingly. And I personally thought Canelo was going to knock him out. But my point in saying these things, these videos I've been pushing concerning a Canelo Triple G uh, freaking trilogy, my point was that Canelo's going to beat him convincingly. That was my point. You know, he didn't knock him out. Oh, well, he beat him really convincingly. And I know people out there want to say, yeah, Canelo looked like trash and he sucked. He looked horrible against Triple G. But he beat him convincingly. Then, then if Canelo looked horrible, then how much worse did triple g look in that fight my point in this is saying that triple g is at the end ladies and gentlemen and like i said i know people want to hype him up and this and that i think that ammo williams has the potential to beat triple g how about that how about that <laughs> yeah comment in the comment section come on now bring the smoke how about that you know what i'm saying WBBA, why am I mentioning, okay, why am I mentioning Triple G? Because right there, let's remind people, you know what I'm saying? Because he is the WBA champ. He is the WB. And this uh, Austin Williams, Ammo Williams, Felix Cash fight is the eliminator for that belt. Right there. 
we don't know what's going on with, with, with Lada. He's been out of the mix for a long time. And if he comes back to fight, believe this, he's not going to look that good. Believe that. You know, because he hasn't been looking good for a long time. And again, you know, sometimes people want to hype up fighters when you see they're on the down, they're on the decline. And they don't admit that. That's the problem out there. That's the problem. We give a blind eye to people who are going down. And I've been talking about that. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to fighters, when it comes to father time, I talk about that. Example, quick example, recent example that comes to mind, uh, Daniel Jacobs, when he fought Ryder. It's like, you know what? He's not looking that good. He's on the downfall, man. You know, I pushed a video up talking about that. Father time, man. Tick tock. Father time is undefeated, ladies and gentlemen. And it's defeating Triple G. It's been defeating Triple G, in my humble opinion. You know what I'm saying? And it showed the world. It showed against Canelo and the rematch. And, and the freaking trilogy. You know what I'm saying? So the question is this, man. Will Triple G step up to the plate? Once, you know, Ammo Williams gets through Felix Cash, I'm boldly saying it because I'm quite confident he's going to win, okay? It might be a tough fight. I don't know. I'm not saying that, you know, Ammo Williams is going to knock out Felix Cash. I'm not saying that he's going to obliterate him. I don't know. But I think he wins. I really do. I really think he wins. Getting back to what I was saying, you know, Ammo Williams' backstory. Ammo Williams, you know, his backstory, his struggles, his come up. He's too hungry. He's too hungry. You know what I'm saying? And after Felix Cash, will Triple G step up to defending that WBA title? Or is he going to do what some of these champs do out there? Run away and vacate? Or just retire? Because I personally have been saying for a minute, Triple G should have retired a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? He should retire. He should have retired a long time ago. Wasn't he the one saying, you know, he's going to come and get that check and retire after the Canelo fight? And now he's talking about he still wants to fight? Who's he going to fight against then? When Amel Williams comes knocking to that knocking on that door, I don't, I don't know if he's going to be so, you know what I'm saying, adamant. I don't know if he's going to welcome that Amo Williams smoke, ladies and gentlemen. So I got my eye on Ammo Williams, man. I personally think he's going to be, once again, I say, I think he's going to be a champ soon in the middleweight division. Especially, especially seeing the landscape of how it's going on. And why am I not mentioning Charlo? Because Charlo, we don't even know what's going on with him. And it's been like that for too long. It's sad. It's sad. And no, this is no freaking Charlo hate or nothing like that. It's just, it is what it is. Too much run in mouth and you're not fighting these guys, Charlo. You know what I'm saying? All due respect. And this is why I spoke... What I spoke about Tank, too. What I spoke What I spoke about Bud, too. I mean, I'm 100 with all these guys, man. Don't matter who it is. Jaime Munguia, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they're great fighters, man. Charlo, he has the skills. He's been talking about coming back, and, you know, but who's going to fight, man? You know what I'm saying? Ammo Williams is coming. Ammo Williams is coming. And I got to conclude with this, man. The middleweight division has the potential to be a fire division. And I think Ammo Williams is kindling that fire, ladies and gentlemen. I think Ammo Williams is the guy to kindle, to rekindle the fire that has been dying out for a long time in the middleweight division. What do you think? Because you got some nice names at 160 still. You definitely do. You've got some nice names there. So we'll see what happens, man. What do you guys think is going to happen next, you know, when it comes to these champs in general in the 160 division? We'll see what happens. But I think Ammo Williams is there to stay for a minute. And I think he's going to do something nice in the 160 division. But we'll see, right? Time will tell. Renee Box on a platform where we simply discuss, critique, analyze, simply talk about sport of boxing and a level headed, mature, calling it fashion. Thank you guys so much. Comment in the comment section. Let's chop it up. Peace.